All right, remember the, every time I say Rubik's Cube, I want to do like this. Yes. Remember that? From the 1980s, how fast could you solve it, if well, you could? It, and a lot of people can't. I can't. A student in Bradenton is going to try to break a world record tomorrow. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan shows us how he's developed a robot that can solve it faster than you can blink. Its six colorful signs have frustrated many over the years, but not Zach Gromko. I had a friend who had already started cubing, and it began to draw fairly large crowds. Right away, he tried to tackle the Rubik's Cube, but wasn't happy with his results. I was rather slow, so the crowds weren't too happy with that. So Zach studied the cube, putting his knowledge and research to work. But it really comes down to problem solving it and thinking algorithmically about how to best accomplish the alignment of the colors. Zach got faster over the years and learned more. Two years ago, the senior at St. Stephen's Episcopal School in Bradenton saw a robot that solved the cube, and he figured he could do it better. He went to work designing his own. For some people, it could take hours or maybe even minutes to solve the Rubik's Cube. Myself, it could take days, but Zach, he can solve it in about 17 seconds. Zach and his robot can solve it in a second and a half. Any Rubik's Cube can be solved in less than 20 turns. The robot has six arms, two cameras, and a computer brain. The cameras reconstruct a 3D image of the cube. The computer figures out where all the colors go, and the arms speak for themselves. Zach can explain the rest. It finally sends the message to those motors, and actually everything except for the actual turning of the cube happens in roughly 50 milliseconds, so faster than you can actually process it. And faster than you can blink an eye. I've done it purely because this is what I love to do. In Bradenton, Kimberly Cuisan, Fox 13 News. And in front of his school, Zach is going to attempt to break the Guinness World Record. They're going to take video of his attempt and have official recorders submit it to Guinness, and I guarantee you he'll do it.